is a rolling out of society is a pile of shit that works a rolling out of society I eat society I puked it out I said it's out of my Yeah, quite the song. Yeah, um, I'm okay, coming up with a. I'm switching over. You're switching over to what? To my my board. Oh, all right. Hang, hang on. I'm trying to come up with a ghost story here. I know I got one. I just have to find where I where I stash this. Well, I'm not finding it. Okay, well, I'll just have to come up with one then. There's a... In the cemetery by my farm, we were all just hoeing tobacco, and uh, we saw these people walking down the road, and it's it's just like a, a straight road, uh, very level, so we could see they walked down the road for about a mile, and uh, I went to this little cemetery, and we saw them putting flowers there and waving each other. I I, I noticed their clothing was not even it looked like Mennonites at first, but that's not really Mennonites. It was more like 1800s clothing. So, anyway, we noticed they were talking to each other and waving to us and stuff, but they made no noise at all. So we thought it was very strange. I said, well, we got to keep on going to the end of this row, and we'll turn around, and we'll go down and, and see, what's see, going see. On. <laughs> see what's going on there, right? Are you there? Marcus? Mm-hmm. Okay, anyway. So... Uh, we get down to the end of the row and then turn around and the people are gone they disappeared so uh, I don't know that doesn't make any sense they couldn't have gone this way that way the ground is flat we can see uh, miles in each direction on the flat ground we're at. So, there's no way they could have just disappeared from that spot they were in. It's all open fields. Like a desert. So, uh, it was crazy. We we actually um, didn't there was 11 witnesses on this one and right in broad daylight I believe that was like ghosts going and putting flowers we got down to the other end and uh, looked at the cemetery there was no flowers there we saw them putting flowers on there everyone that's, that's. in the middle of the day that's what happened yeah we can hear you we can hear you, Marcus. That's good. Oh, really? Yeah, I can hear you. The levels seem really low for some reason. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, that's good. Really weird. I can turn you up from here. Oh, really? Uh, um, yeah, I don't know what's going on. I, usually I just plug it in and it works. No, it's working fine. Something's different. I don't know if you heard the story I just told. Um, I 
caught the end of it. It's spooky. It was about the cemetery, the one uh, about where we saw those uh, those people just come walking down the road, put flowers on the grave, and then just disappear. And 11 witnesses in broad daylight. <laughs> Not everyone is gonna like your style. Hey, hey, woman. The reason why you love your cause you are a virtuous woman. Hey, hey, you make me laugh, you make me smile. I even stop and think a while. I wanna put you on my file. I treat the gentle baby meek and mild. You're the queen and I'm the king. Got to love and turn your ring. You ignite the flames in me. Your little beauty's like the butterfly. You're so precious like the river Nile. You bring me fun, you bear my child Ooh. In your loving arms, that's where I wanna stir Don't let this loving slip away mm-hmm. In your loving arms, that's where I wanna play Don't let this loving go astray You're rolling, everyone is gonna like your style. Hey, hey, conscious woman. The reason why you love your cause you are a virtuous woman. Hey, hey, girl, in the morning when the rooster rises, but we gonna make some pleasant nights. He has the feeling we won't compromise. Hey, hey. It's like going on a honeymoon oh, When the flower bloom but not too soon We need more space, maybe we need more room Hey, hey, hey Serious girl The way you roll at everyone is gonna like your style Hey, hey Conscious woman The reason why you love it Cause you are a virtuous woman Hey, hey. And then and that's where we stand Girl, come along We stick together, make a plan You see, you're so special, I know you are the one You roll like everyone is gonna like your style. Hey, hey, conscious woman. The reason why you love your cause you are a virtuous woman. Hey, hey, oh, na na na. Like hey, hey, hey. Yeah. All right, man. We're just going live. All right. Hello. Hey, how you doing? All right, man.
Hello, uh, we, we have uh, a caller already. Oh, maybe not. Hello, this is Monster Castle Paranormal Radio. You are on the air. You betcha. All right, Hello. Barry. Hello, Canada. How you guys doing up there? We're awesome. I'm good. We got Adam. We got Darren. And uh, we had a little bit of a storm going on here, and some nice uh, Native American flute music. Can you hear that? Mm-hmm. Is that? <clears throat> well, listen. I'm gonna let them introduce themselves. I got my my team here. Uh, my um, brother Alvy should be calling in here any minute. If he's not already on, he's gonna be calling from Wisconsin. But uh, again, my name is Barry Webster. Uh, Red Squatching. All right, man. Let's get some. Let's get some big applause here. Dude. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh. We lost him. He'll call back. I think he's having a problem there. Maybe he's a little bit nervous and he hit the wrong button. <laughs> well, we didn't even... So his, name, his name's Barry? Yeah. Or Squatchy? No, no. That's what they call themselves. <laughs> Squatching. <laughs> <laughs> like Sasquatching. You know, like they okay. say, yeah. Even even Bobo from that show says, "Squat, he, let's go squatching." I don't know who coined that term. What do you think, Wolfman? Is Wolfman there? Fourteen thirty eleven twelve o'clock. All right, on your dial. E E C H coming through. The Dracola Company, owned by the Count. If you can believe that. Okay, yeah. <laughs> All right. Barry, are you back? Yeah, we're back. I don't know what's going on. I keep going back until we get it right. I apologize for that. Oh, that's all right. Uh, it, you can just call back in if you lose connection. I don't know what's going on, but it keeps coming back, so no worries. Oh, we just had a big round of applause for for you guys. Uh <laughs> And then I played a silly intro I had that, um, now he's gone again. Wow. Oh, man. Never did that before when we were talking. Yeah. <coughs> and I can't call him back because he's calling in on the, uh, on our, um, number line, on our landline number. For some reason, it won't let me dial out on that. I don't know why. But, um, here he's, he's does, does back. He okay? He's back. Yeah, that's strange. Does, Keeps cutting in and out, but that that's strange. I'm sure it'll figure itself out. Uh, yeah, we should be okay now. Oh, good. You figured it out, what was going on there? Well, we just changed phones, so... All right, we'll try that. Um... I was I was going to um, start out by asking, oh, is there other people there besides you, by the way? Yeah, we want to introduce them. Okay, go ahead. Team members. Uh, my name is George Wilhaw. I'm a new team member to the Red Squad team. And, Welcome. Uh, I'm, here with, I'm here with Barry Webster as well. Right on, brother. Welcome. And we got Adam and Derek. Uh-oh. Uh, ho, Canada. This is Derek Webster Sr. Derek! Co-founder of Red Squatching Research. I'm glad you're here, Derek. Right on, brother. All right. All right, man. I uh, hope. Woo! Got one more. Okay. My name is Sterling Holland from Red Squatching. Right on. Welcome. I'm the youngest member. Right on. I, I've, I've got a, some pictures. You're going to have to post the newer, newest one with all your new members uh, you one time. But, yeah, I'm going to post yeah. some pictures of you guys, uh, if you don't mind. 
It's on 47 Talk, so everyone can see you. You bet. Hell yeah. All right. Yeah, man. Okay, what I was going to ask first is uh, a little bit about the history of your people or your, or your your certain tribe and maybe some local legends or, um, uh, yeah, any, any kind of local, <laughs> local legends or anything that got you stimulated into pursuing this uh, field. All right, Wolfman, I'm... I'm Derek Webster. They call me Big D within Rest Watching Research. That's my nickname. We all have nicknames here. Right on. Um, and one of our one of our cultures is uh, the Hedawachi. We're the originators of the Hedawachi, the the powwow, the fancy dance, the grass dance. We're the oldest powwow in North America. Oh wow. Yes. That's amazing. Um, I've been to a powwow uh, up here in Canada. It was amazing. Um, with the Oneida group. Oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, and I was, yeah, I had a great time. Like, I love drumming, though. I am a, I'm a, I'm a drummer, and I love playing all kinds of hand drums. So <laughs> that, was, yeah. that was my favorite part. That's was, the heartbeat uh, of our people. That's the heart, heartbeat yeah. of our nation. Do you do you think that drumming uh, is something that, like I believe, that drives away evil? Oh yeah. Is that why they they do it? Like, or or is there? Well, there's probably many many reasons. Then they used to communicate. Do you guys still know how to communicate with drums? Or is the oh, knowledge? Yeah. yeah? Wow. Everything, everything is handed down. We have a new curriculum in our school, preserving our our heritage, our culture, our language. Because if the grid ever went down or anything, I mean, like knowledge like that would be like the only thing that <laughs> that'd be a basic part of survival. Then it'd be it's so important. And uh, can, can I interrupt? Go ahead. I was wondering how often you guys powwow. It's a, a once a once a year thing. It's a celebration of our harvest. A long time ago, we were known for farming, and when we had a good harvest, it's called the harvest celebration, the Hedawachi. Is so it an all day thing? Yes, it is. Is it only for people of your nation? No, it's or open to people? the public, to to everybody. Oh, we fantastic. Get people from China, Ukraine, Canada, Iceland. We get a, a ton of buses that are down here every year for our power. Yeah, that, that's the way it is here, too. Like, the, they'll welcome anyone to any powwow. Hey, Wolfman, this is Barry. Barry, how are hey, you? Um, I'm good, I'm good. Hey, let me just add something here. Um, you talked about some of our legends. Uh, yeah, that's... The legends we have ain't, ain't really no different than, than other reservations. Uh, we have the little people. We have Bigfoot, which we call him Situnga. We have the, the deer woman, which we... Our our language we we call her uh, Dakti Wa'u. Um, My gosh, can I stop you right there? Well, I've never heard of that. Can you explain a little more about that? The Dakti Wa'u. Yeah, Wa'u. She's a uh, <clears throat> she's kind of uh, the way I understand it, and I'm sure these guys feel the same. Um, she's a she's a bad omen. She's uh, part deer and then part. Uh, human and she shows up mysteriously different locations she's there there's a legend that she showed up at our power one time and it, it, again it's a bad omen um i think we did a they did a nice little feature on it on youtube it's called dr Wa'u, and i'm even in that talking about her 
Oh my god! Wow, I gotta check that out. And check it out. It's, it's a it's a real. It, I've heard that story ever since I was young. It, it's a notorious, famous, whatever you want to call it. It's really a, a great legend. So, and, and I hope to, I hope someday to do a movie about it. How do you how do you spell that, or how would we search for that that on YouTube? That little clip that you're in. Or, or is it a movie? Uh, it, it's spelled different, and I apologize if I can't, you know, correct you or tell you how to spell it. Try um, T, T A, line comma, D, X E, dot D, then I don't know. I think W A U. I don't. I don't know if it'll come up on YouTube on that. Try, um, yeah. Try, dear lady Barry Webster. Try that one. Okay. It might come up off YouTube. Dear lady, that's that's what we'll try then. Well, yeah. Dear lady Barry Webster. Yeah. Okay. It's a really nice uh, little segment on on that. That's awesome. All right. Thank you. And um, you bet. And the okay, and the other one, the little people, right? Um, I believe, which I believe, I've seen some of them. Uh, can you tell me? Really? Yeah, I have um, two types of little people in in uh, in Ontario here, and uh, way out in the boonies. Usually, one was on a, a mountain called the Nasa Sagawea Lookout, uh, and, mm. which is a sacred spot for the natives here actually and uh there's a, up on that mountain there's a place called crawford lake which is an old uh i think it's iroquois settlement that they've restored it's really cool okay all right and uh anyways uh yeah i saw something that looked like a gnome up there running through the trees a little tiny man about a foot tall one time wow that'd be him there was three of us that saw it and he we were chasing it trying to <laughs> we were young eh <laughs> and we were trying to oh, chase, yeah. chase it down we thought that was so cool and he was poking his head around trees and stopped every once in a while and looked to see if we were still coming and then he just he was really fast and he run from tree to tree and kept the trees sort of with his back to every tree so that you couldn't see him when he was running and you'd only see him a little bit here darting across from this tree to that tree that's the way Ooh, I could sp- explain I and so, and then he disappeared in no time. He lost us. Uh, he very good at uh, hiding in the woods. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> yeah, that they are. Have you seen any little people? This is Big D. Yes, we did when we were younger. Uh, we were told that uh, they're the bringers of life and take takers of life. Uh, not sure how to take, you know, understand that, but once one of our, uh, people were going to have a baby, we, there's two different types that we have here. The, the ones that, that bring the news of a baby going to have, our, one of our relatives are going to have a baby. They're, they're dressed in our, tri- our tribal regalia type with the leather, with the beadwork, and they don't mean any harm. But they get in your house and they 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 go to where this, whoever the lady is is gonna have a baby. And they they go to her her door or her room, and there's some. The other type they have here is, is they're kind of evil. That's what I they heard. Cause mischief. There's there's more than one type of little people though, isn't there? Yes, like Is I it? said, we have two different types here. Yeah, because the one one that um, I I saw was with my wife camping. Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt this real quick, but yeah, when we were camping, and this was out near Lake Erie, and it's pretty uh, um, uh, rural, anyways, like just farm farming area. So it was pretty much out in the boonies off the lake and there was these little uh when we were around our campfire there was um like almost like fairy people they were gray they almost looked like little gray people about 
maybe eight inches to long, maybe six inches, and they had wings and they were flying around. Mm. They almost looked reptilian, though, but they were very playful and mischievous. Yeah, like yeah, gra- it's gra- kind of their. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Oh no, I was just gonna say that that's kind of. Uh, <clears throat> I think their behavior. Uh, every time we hear, or at least I talk to other tribal people from other nations, that they describe the same same kind of uh, behavior and and personality. Kind of mischievous, kind of almost funny, like like they're they're playing with you. Yeah, like the one pulled my hair and pulled her hair, uh, my wife Sandra's <laughs> hair, uh, and then then we realized that it wasn't bugs. Like we looked and holy shit, that's like little people, <laughs> but, and they had gray skin yeah. and they were all like all would say almost like a reptilian looking skin, but they were humanoid wow. with wings. Mm. Wow! Oh, and that was the same time. That the raccoons all kind of just hung out at our campsite. Like they were just our fr- friends or something. Yeah. Hey, um, Wolfman, before we get um, <clears throat> too far ahead, I let me give a shout out to um, Mehmet Ashwet from Bigfoot Researchers and all the Red Squatching fans out there. I apologize, guys. I told you I'd do that right off the start. Yeah, I have shout outs too, actually, uh, I was supposed to do, um, to my new followers, uh, King Wiener, Jeff Parham, Ghost Hunter M2, uh, let's see, Brainwaves Radio, uh, John C. Kundrat, um, Debbie Daly, Bunky the Monkey, Troy Blackford, uh, Michelle, Louise, Cowpot, Cowpo, Cowpody Radio, ah, Cowpody Radio, far out, Mark Dunbar, uh, and Adrian Lee, I have so many new followers, I can't name them all, uh, um, but thank you so much guys for following, and I hope you're enjoying the show. Yeah, hey uh, Wolfman, I appreciate that, one more, uh, I want to give a big shout out to the water protectors up in Cannonball, North Dakota. Hey, our prayers are with you guys. Stay strong. Red Squatching supports you guys. No right. dapple. Definitely. Uh, That's definitely something we all support here, too. Right on, brother. Wait, what, did you, what were you guys saying at the end there? You made a little chant. Uh-huh. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> uh, I'll definitely learn that <laughs> if I can. Oh, got to keep saying it. All right. Okay. What are we gonna do next, uh, let, um, Darren? Do you have any questions? Well, I just wanted to find out where the res res was. Oh, that's Nevada. Where they're at? Nebraska. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're, they're in, in the nor- northeast. Northeast corner of Nebraska. Of Nebraska. So that's uh, not that far from. It's really on the same uh, latitude that I'm on. All right. I was looking on a map, and it lines pretty much up. So, if those creatures are up there, you got Bigfoot there. Chances are, I got them here too. Is there a lot of forest there? No, I don't. I don't. We don't describe it as forest. We call it timber. But, yeah, we got a lot of timber We're right next to the Missouri River. Um, to back up a little bit, um, historically, and, and I don't want to, you know, highlight that too much, but we, we came down back in the 1800s, and I could be wrong. I know there's some listeners on here. But we came down, migrated from the Ohio Valley, and settled down this area. We were the first tribe to, to settle in, 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 with the state of Nebraska. Uh, and the only Nebraska tribe, first tribe, I should say. It's a very proud, very rich tradition. And when it comes to Sasquatches, were there some in Ohio and Nebraska? 
Well, you know, I, I can't speak for Ohio, but I'm sure there is. From what I hear, there's, there's a whole bunch of them over there. But, you know, I can speak for us. Yes, there is. <laughs> we have our share here. Well, can you get into that a little bit? When did uh, you first find them? <laughs> when did we first find them? Um, yes. I don't know. I, I guess if, if you let me back up here, about 20, 20 years ago, we, um, I even backed up further. When we were young, we were always told by my dad. He, he told a story one time. He said that, um, and he, he was having a few beers by the river, and he decided to leave, and, and his car couldn't move. So this is my very first time I heard a story about Bigfoot. And uh, my dad was a pretty tough guy, kind of a rough guy when he had to be. Um, but he came home scared and he said, hey, you boys, I want you to stay bleep bleep your asses away from the river. It's called Big Out <laughs> Park. And, uh, you know, that was that was news to us because our dad wasn't scared of anything or anybody. And uh, he said something actually held held the uh, the vehicle, prevented it from backing up, and they saw this big figure standing in the back. And uh, I can't say that was the start, but I, I think over time, you know, the locals, the, the tribal members' stories came forward. And, and more recently, about five years ago, is when we actively started to to pursue him because of uh, them being in the community, uh, harassing uh, people, families that live out in the countryside. I mean, uh, I I bet I don't go a week without getting three three reports of him by somebody's house or, or doing something to harass them. Do you think it's just one or is there a family? Well, we... I'll let, I'll let my brother answer how many is out there. Okay. We have about we have about five different families of them, different colors, different sizes. Uh, they got juveniles, four or five foot, six foot. Uh, the biggest one I've seen was over ten foot tall, twenty one inch footprint, seven and a half wide. The footprint. Wow. Wow. We've, we've uh, got a so picture of him, and we've measured the branch that he was standing under after the next day. Uh-huh. And that's how, that's how I came up with all of them. It was over 10, 10 foot. How many encounters and have you had? I had five total. All right. How, what was the first one? <laughs> And they're not spirits, I can tell you that. People say they're spirits, aliens, they're 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 physical beings. Yeah, they are uh definitely Hello? intelligent. Yeah, we're here. Yeah. Wolfman. Yeah, buddy. Come on, baby, don't leave me hanging, baby. I, I wouldn't leave you. I was just uh answering somebody in the chat room while Darren was talking oh. there. Yeah, um, we got a chat room on Spreaker. I don't know if you guys, when you follow back, I'll show you how to do it. Uh, when you want to listen back, sorry. Um, you can you can listen to us on Spreaker and then chat with us while we're on the air in a little chat room. Uh, and there's also, uh, on, on Twitter, if you're familiar with Twitter, there's hashtag 47talk. We, we use that, that as, a, as our sandbox as well. Uh, All right, and you can send pictures. We got our yeah. Oh, we got our IT guy here writing everything down. So we have a question from someone in the chat room, actually wondering whether Sasquatch is a vegetarian or an omnivore, and can they climb mm -hmm. trees? Okay, one one question at a time. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we got a lot of questions. Yeah, do are do you guys know what they eat? Well, 
you know, we, <clears throat> let me, let me say this. Um, you know, we're, we're slowly getting to all that. I, I would say this. Okay. My guess is this, is that they eat a little bit of everything. Um, I can tell you right now that they're, they're, the, the area we investigate the most, um, we, the families are feeding them the food they throw out the family they're, they're eating that. So that's kind of a very complex question because I think they'll eat a little bit of everything. That makes sense. Just like us. Okay. This is, yeah. Wolfman. Yeah. We've been doing this for five years and every place that we've, investigated it's by a natural spring oh yeah so there's walnut yeah there's walnuts every the five places that we've went and that it became our site is there's a natural spring there running water <laughs> so they're always by a spring and there's been a lot of sightings where they they've been seen drinking out of a water actually Ooh. Um, that's pretty common for sightings to be like someone to be near water and they see something hunched over drinking and then go back into the woods, something big. Oh yeah. I remember one I saw, there's actually a video on YouTube of that too. I saw it's a pretty good one. Actually. I, re I remember, I don't know if I can find it back. That was a years ago. Awesome. That's a good question. Awesome. Are there any YouTube videos that you guys know from seeing them that are accurate and real? You know, I I've had <clears throat> I've had several people send me some, and and you know, I just I don't I don't like to do that, but for for the some of my fans, I we, we tried to do that. I tried to debunk, debunk or, or give them the truth about it. Um, I, I just myself personally, I, I don't buy into it. You know, I, I guess uh, for us, it, it, it's kind of a, a spiritual thing, and and you know we 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 we're not into that yet. The YouTube stuff. However, we do have we do have a video out there where we showed some eyes. Now, <laughs> that was a real one. <laughs> oh, yeah, I. I haven't seen the video, but I, I've got some pictures I can post on, of that, which I'm about to get ready to do on our next break. Uh, I'm going to see if I can post some of these pictures for everyone on, on hashtag 47 talk. Uh, but uh, we'll do that later. Uh, and we'll post the pictures and then we'll talk about them. Um, cool. I want to ask you about the gifting. Um, you, you, yeah, yeah, well, actually, that's one of the pictures, too, there's another question, I'm sorry, we got, I got so many questions, man, <laughs> now, this, this one comes from the chat room, and, uh, I, I already know the answer to this, they're asking whether you consider Sasquatch to be an animal, or another type of ancient people, I, uh, that, that, <clears throat> that's kind of, uh, again, easy question for us yeah um you know our people our people our ancestors told us that he was our brother and and, and would he not come to the powwow i heard well you know I'm, I'm sure he does i'm sure he does you know last last night and and my team member here just reminded me i i, I watched yeti or not on destination america and you know, for some reason, I just knew they weren't going to find anything. <laughs> well, uh, not to, not to um, down them or anything, but you know, we we were told by our ancestors that that's our brother, and so we treat him as such. You know, we we treat him with respect. However, that doesn't mean that we <laughs> we didn't have our moments with him, and and again. You know, I'll, I'll quit there, but he he is our brother. He's, uh, uh, you know, again, I, I want to tell you only so much, you know. That's fine. The rest, I would have to kill you. <laughs> okay, don't tell us that part then. 
<laughs> All right, Wolfman, I just want to add just a little. <laughs> this is Big D. Um, okay. Over the, over the last five years, we've been out investigating, and we built a relate almost like a relationship just through our native approach. Yeah. Um, and not really knowing too much about Bigfoot and and all that, we had to learn firsthand about gifting, about uh, communication. You know, he 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 threw some rocks at me and my brother. I was playing the flute one day, and my brother started talking in our language and told him we meant him no harm in our language, and I I played the flute for him. And when he was talking in our native tongue, two big rocks, I was looking up, two big rocks fell right, one fell right in front of me, one fell right in front of my brother. And I guess after talking to the Bigfoot community and, and we did the right thing, we picked them up, showed him, and we took them with us and we still have them to this day. So ever since then, that's become one of our gifting sites. And, it's the approach that we have. What was it that you left in the picture for him? Okay, what, what picture? Help me out here. Oh, sorry. It was something that you laid on the log. It's something that beaded, uh, something beaded. Yeah, that was Linyard. Um, yeah, that's it. Yeah. It was the we, we did a, a little, uh, yeah, we did a little experiment. We wanted to see, you know, how deep the connection he had with, with our culture. And so if you notice in that picture, um, we put a quarter and we put the lanyard there. We left it overnight. Now you got to understand that this area is, is nobody goes back there. It's my brother's land, him and his wife. And uh, that is a very interesting area. He, he took the beaded lanyard, left the quarter. Now, I, I could go on and on about a bunch of stories, and I know what there's a lot of question marks, and I know people are going, wow, we need to try that. Well, you know, I, I just believe that, that, that it takes time, it takes trust, it takes all those things, but also, you know, I believe, and we were told that they've been amongst our people for who knows how long. So, you know, it, it, I don't think this is something you can just go and, and, and do just for the fun of it. You know, we're, we're trying to really understand them, like my brother said, through our research. Anyway, that's my feedback. When Can I ask a question? Go ahead. So when was the first time that you really believed... I mean, it wasn't just a legend or lore. You knew for a fact that he was out there. Well, this is Barry. Um, I want to give a shout out again. I don't want to change the subject to SRA, Jim, Jim Heldon, my bro up there in uh, Duluth, Minnesota. I know I'm a, I forgot about him. So anyway, um, when did I know? I, I guess. Yeah. Maybe 15, 15 plus years ago, I knew, I knew when my dad told me, and I always you knew, believed then. You know, I, yeah, I, off and on, I would go out there and, and and just ponder as a young man, and 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 say, man, I'm a, I'm gonna find out about this guy. I want to know more. Um, surprisingly, the elders, you know, taught me a lot. But the thing we wanted to know is, is we love and respect our culture and our oral history, but we, we found out how to do research. So we, we dove in and we said, we want to know what their behaviors are, what they like to eat. We, we found out about the wood knocking. So we were able to do some really cool stuff. And I think that's what makes us different than, than anybody. Um, when I retire, I want to do that 24-7. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh. 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 Yeah, baby. All <laughs> right. I dig it. <laughs> oh. 
And um, aho, aho. There you go, Wolfman. There you go. All Wolf right. Dog. <laughs> I gotta say, uh, what, what somebody in the chat room doesn't think we're live. They think podcasts cannot be live. So uh, I, I'm gonna say, um, Ron. All you gotta do is post a song up there, and I'll play it for break, and then you'll realize that we are live. <laughs>